Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. In today's video, I'm super excited because we're gonna be talking about fall perfumes, which I am here for, I'm ready, I'm so in the mood for fall, I'm in the mood for fall makeup. I wanna decorate my house and everything pumpkin and drink pumpkin spice lattes, watch scary movies, and definitely bring out my fall perfumes. I think those are my favorite type of perfumes to wear, to be honest. I really get excited and really in the mood for fall. Halloween is right around the corner and I get super excited for Halloween. I'm a big, big fan of Halloween. I love to dress up and I love watching scary movies. So yeah, I'm totally here for it. I'm so excited. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. I do mostly perfume, beauty, and makeup on this channel. If you are into that kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your support. If you're interested in seeing my fall perfume picks, then just keep on watching. All right, guys, before we get into the perfumes, really quick, I want to show you guys this amazing purse that was sent to me by Teddy Blake New York. They reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in reviewing their purses, and I had seen them on a couple of other people's channels. Other people have talked about them in the past, and they looked really nice, and I was looking on their website, and I just went down this rabbit hole of just being obsessed with their purses and their handbags because they have some amazing, amazing handbags. And I had a bunch of my friends like looking, I was trying to decide what purse I wanted sent to me because they had so many that I was interested in. And so we were like looking online and they were getting ready to place orders and it was crazy. So definitely a good selection on their website, which I will leave all their information in the description box. But I did finally pick out the one I wanted and they sent it to me in this box here and your purse comes in this little material to kind of protect it and let me show you the one I picked out so this is the purse that I picked out I like big purses <laughs> I know this is ginormous this is 14 inches they do have smaller purses than this of course a lot of different types of designs they have different designs that they come out with every single month they add to their collection they're always trying to come up with unique and different types of styles and all of that but this is the one that I picked out and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The quality of this is phenomenal. Let me show you the back. This is the back and the inside of this is super soft as well. Let me show you the inside. So this is the inside and it just has this like suede, like just super soft inner lining that I absolutely love. I really love the attention to detail. Their name is right here. And yeah, just everything about this purse is just high, high quality. So the way they make these purses is the same as the luxury and high-end designer handbags. So the same factories are used, the same people that make those higher-end, super-duper, like four or $5,000 handbags. Same people, same factory, same premium Italian leather. These are handmade and hand stitched with premium Italian leather just like the luxury ones are. The only difference is they don't have the label of the super high-end ones. They have Teddy Blake on here. These are still not what I would consider affordable necessarily. These are still pretty pricey. So this purse right here, I think it retails for around the six, $700 mark. So that's not necessarily affordable, but when you're comparing them next to three, $4,000 purses, then it's a lot more affordable. So you're getting the same quality as those purses, but at a much more affordable price point, luxury quality, affordable price point without the fancy label and name. So I am super excited to be able to use this purse. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to wait and show it to you guys before I started using it. But yeah, this is just, you can tell the quality of this is just mwah, chef's kiss. I'm very impressed. Highly recommend. I care more about the quality of a purse than I do the name brand. You know, I don't really care so much about a name brand as I do how well the durability is, how well the craftsmanship is, and you can tell this is hand-stitched, good craftsmanship. This is definitely premium leather, and that's what I care about. So I am so thankful to Teddy Blake for sending this to me. Thank you guys so much. I love it. I truly love it. But let me show you this purse in low light, kind of up close. So this is the bag up close with my light kind of turned off so you can see this baby pink 
color is to die for and I feel like it will match with a lot of different things. I love this little handle right here but I also love that you can add the shoulder strap on as well if you like to carry your purse that way. And then this is what the back looks like. Super beautiful. Just Oh, it's gorgeous, you guys. And then the inside of the purse with that beautiful suede-like soft leather lining on the inside, which I absolutely love. So again, thank you to Teddy Blake for this gorgeous, gorgeous handbag. I truly love it. And I will leave all their information, like I said, in the description box. Go on their website and check them out. Like I said, they have different designs. It's not just like this. They have all different colors, designs, sizes. Gorgeous. All right, let's get into the perfumes. Okay, so I just filmed my September tray. It's already up and I'll leave it in the description box if you're interested. But in that video I did focus on a lot of perfumes that were meant more for fall since I am already in the mood and here for it so I didn't want to do repeats I didn't want to talk about the same perfumes I just talked about in my September tray so if you are interested in even more perfume suggestions go ahead and check that video out I do have more of my like favorite fall perfumes in that video that I'm super excited for so yeah in this video I didn't want to do repeats of those but these are 10 more fragrances that I'm super excited for for the fall. Like I said, this is the category that I feel like I have the most of. All right, up first we have by Atar Collection, and this is Cult at Night. I absolutely adore this perfume. This was love at first sniff. This was a blind buy, and I fell head over heels in love with it. This is a monster of a perfume, and I had a feeling I was going to love this because somebody said that this was a cross between Tom Ford, Lost Cherry, and Killian's Angel Share, and I love both of those fragrances. I will say this does have like vibes of those perfumes, but this is definitely its own perfume. There's a lot of cherry in here. There's a lot of cinnamon. There's apple. So it smells like a kind of spicy Middle Eastern cinnamon, apple, cherry, kind of like a dessert of some sort. But it's not a full-on foodie gourmand. This is a semi-gourmand. It has patchouli and musk in the base, which keeps this from being like overly edible smelling. It still smells like a perfume. This is a unisex fragrance. I think this would smell fantastic on a woman or a man, and I, mm, I love it. I usually lean more towards feminine leaning scents, but I feel completely comfortable and feminine wearing this. So yeah, I don't have any issues with that. The Sia that scent bubble that is around me when I wear this is so intoxicating. It's so cozy. It just really gets me in the mood for fall. And yeah, if you like angel share, if you like kind of spicy cinnamon, semi-gourmand, apple-y, cherry kind of fragrances, I think you would adore this. I think it's so good and I'm so happy that I blind bought this and I cannot wait to wear it this fall. Okay, another perfume I am dying to wear is by Swiss Arabian. This is Casablanca. I love this perfume. This is a very affordable fragrance. It's really beautiful and it lasts all day. This is another monster perfume. You do not need to spray a lot of this. I've accidentally oversprayed this before and it is too much. This is apple. This is what I get. There's a lot of notes in here. I'll put the notes up on the screen, but what I get out of this fragrance is like a green apple and a lot of caramel. So to me, this smells like a caramel apple and caramel apples are like one of my favorite favorite desserts to eat during the fall, especially around the Halloween time. This kind of reminds me of like bobbing for apples and this is absolutely my favorite Halloween perfume. Like it just reminds me of Halloween for some reason. And you better believe that on October 31st, this is the perfume that I'm going to be wearing. I'll I'll wear it more than just on Halloween because I really do love this perfume. I think it's fantastic quality, a fantastic performance. The scent is gorgeous and I really enjoyed this one. So very excited to be pulling this one out. Probably this will be on my October tray for sure. One perfume that I actually thought I was going to declutter but it got saved. So I did a declutter recently and I thought this one was going to be in it but I decided to give all of my perfumes I was going to declutter one last chance before I decluttered them and I sprayed this on and I loved it. I think the problem was when I first got this I 
really like the way it smelled, but there's a brand note in here and the brand note in the beginning was very strong and it just kind of ruined the perfume for me because it was too much. It was just very front and center. But now that this perfume has settled a little bit, the brand is still there, but it's kind of softly in the background and it is so much better than what I remember when I first got this. This is right up my alley, you guys. I love honey in my perfumes. Obviously there's honey in here. It's called B, <laughs> but this is honey, cinnamon. I love cinnamon if you can't tell, but this also has rum, so it smells like a cinnamon boozy rum cake to me. I do like the fact that there's a little bit of bran in here because it kind of cuts through the sweetness of this perfume and keeps it a little rounded, you know? It keeps it well-rounded and not just sweet, sweet, sweet you know, overbearingly sweet notes in your face. I like when sweet perfumes have something else in them to kind of round them out so that they don't just seem cloying. Now I will say normally with a perfume like this, I prefer a stronger projection and longevity. This one's just moderate. This is not a bad performing perfume, but it's not like a monster either. And I kind of wish it was a little stronger because like I said, these kind of rich honey, cinnamon, decadent kind of perfumes, I like them to be a little stronger. I still think this is full bottle worthy. I get about five hours out of this with a moderate projection, so it's not terrible. Very appropriate for fall. It gets me in the mood for like, it makes me think of baking, you know? It makes me think of rum cakes and things for the holidays, you know, coming up. And when I get through this travel size, I will be getting a full size bottle. Another travel size that I got is by Mugler. This is Angel Goddess Intense. Originally, I thought this was gonna be a summertime perfume, but to me, I really think that this is fall. So the original Alien Goddess was very beachy, very coconut, and I liked that one, but I didn't think it was full bottle worthy. I wasn't sure what to think about this one because the OG Alien is too strong for me. It's too sharp, the jasmine in there is just too much, and I can't, I can't wear the OG Alien. But this one, Alien Goddess Intense is where it's at for me. I love this one. This has the alien DNA in here for sure. I can definitely make out that very specific alien jasmine, but it is so smooth and it's toned down a little bit. It's not quite as sharp as I feel like the OG Alien is on me. The jasmine in here is phenomenal. It's just so gorgeous. I love this jasmine. I love this composition. The way that it's blended, it just smells so smooth to me and this really feels like a very like rich ambery but very smooth type of fragrance I feel like the color of this juice is the way that this perfume smells like if this color had a smell <laughs> <laughs> this is what it would be. It's smooth, it's ambery, it's jasmine, it's vanilla. There's a hint of coconut in here, but I don't really make out a lot of coconut. I think the coconut just helps to make it creamy and smooth. And this was a blind buy and this was love at first sniff. I was shocked at how much I love this and every time I wear it, I enjoy it so much. So I think it's beautiful. I think the performance is moderate. I really don't have an issue with the performance. Although when I talked about this before, somebody left a comment that they they didn't have good performance, that it only lasted like two hours on them. And I was kind of surprised because I don't have that experience with this perfume. For me, this lasts over six hours and it's not a, like a strong projecting perfume, but it's not a skin scent either. You know, it's moderate, it's somewhere in the middle. I could definitely smell it. There was definitely a scent bubble around me and I don't have any issues with the performance at all. But just keep in mind, if you are considering buying this, I have heard other people say they didn't think the performance was good. So you might want to try this one before you buy. Just go test it out first and see how it performs on you if you're interested in this fragrance. But for me, I, I can only speak for myself. I don't have issues with the performance of this. So I think it's really beautiful and it is definitely full bottle worthy. I'm so excited to wear it this fall. Now a perfume that I do have issues with the performance, but I can't help myself you guys because I love the way this smells. This is by Kaoli. This is the new Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. I did a full dedicated review on this. If you're interested in all the details of this perfume, then I will leave that in the description box. But I am excited to wear this for the fall because I think this is gorgeous. This smells incredible. This is a mix between 
Tom Ford Lost Cherry meets by the fireplace while you're sitting in a sauna. <laughs> and that Palo Santo that's in here is just, oh, it's so good. And the cherry that's in here is that sweet, gourmand honey black cherry it just reminds me of like a dark dark black cherry that is like dipped in honey and it's so it's so good i just love it and like i said that palo santo that's in here it really does it for me so this is not a dupe for tom ford's lost cherry in my opinion this goes in a completely different direction now as far as performance i get about four hours max like that's it i get four hours and then it becomes a very very light skin scent and even during those four hours it's not super strong it's i can smell it I can definitely smell it on me and I do have a slight like sillage around me and I get wafts of it through those four hours. You know, if I turn my head, I can smell it in my hair. I definitely have to put it on my clothes and in my hair. I can't just put it on my skin. I definitely have to overspray. And this is definitely one that I have to reapply if I want to keep smelling like this because it only lasts four hours. So definitely keep that in mind if you're interested in this perfume. I really do wish the performance was better, but I'm willing to overlook it because I think it is phenomenally gorgeous. But anyway, I am super excited to wear this. I'm okay with reapplying this and I'm okay with overspraying. Okay, up next we have by Givenchy. This is Linter de Rouge. I have not had a chance to really wear this perfume. I actually have had this for a few months now and I've barely been able to wear it. I've worn it just a few times because it is just too much for the heat, but I'm getting ready to wear this, you guys. I don't care, I don't care. I have to wear this, this is gorgeous. This is very spicy in the opening to my nose. This has, I believe, pimento leaf and it's, it's phenomenal. I believe there's pink pepper in here as well. I'll put the notes up on the screen but it's very spicy in the opening, and that spiciness does stay throughout the length of the fragrance for me. It's just not quite as strong as it is when you first spray it. It does have a lot of the DNA of the original Linter D in here, the EDP anyway, which I love. I love that sweet tuberose and pear combination of the OG Linter D, and that is definitely in here. But mixed with that spiciness, there's just something extra special about this perfume. I love it so much. I'm a big fan of spicy and sweet mixed together. I think it smells intoxicatingly good and it really puts me in that fall mood. It reminds me of like crisp air and leaves changing and... You know, you know you can tell when things are starting to change. You know, you get that different that little crispness in the air, not that I really experienced that now that I've moved to South Carolina, but you know what I'm talking about. And it just really puts you in the mood, right? For all those spicy cinnamon foods and pumpkin spice foods, things like that. That's what this does for me. It just, it just gets me in the mood. <laughs> and I love this so much. I love the color of this bottle. This is gorgeous. This like blood red color is just, I'm really about this these days. I actually almost got a purse from Teddy Blake in this color because I was really in the mood, but I'm like, no, I have to get, I want to get one that's going to match like more things. But I almost did get this color and I think it is so pretty. So love the bottle, love the juice. Performance is a non-issue. Very good performance. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance that puts me in the mood for fall. All right, when I want my sweet, cozy, gourmand fragrance, I cannot wait to pull out from Axidolo Love and Crime. You guys, this perfume is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. If you like Lyra from Zerjoff, you would like this. They smell really similar to each other, but they do have differences. So Lyra, to me, I didn't like as much as I like this. I do like Lyra, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. But this one is my preferred choice. This one is more on the orange side, where Lyra is more on the lemony side. This one has some spiciness in the opening. It has pink pepper, which I love. It also has anise, I think it's called. I never know how to say that. I don't know if it's anise or anise, I don't know. Anise? Maybe it's anise. <laughs> it's a spicy note and it's in this perfume and I think it's just so good. It's got that spicy sweet combination that I love. It also has cacao and vanilla in the base. It smells to me like a spicy orange 
sponge cake. And I'm here for it. The performance is really good. That's another reason why I got this one over Lyra. I was testing both of them out to decide which one I wanted. And this one blew Lyra out of the water. Like the performance of this one was way better than Lyra lasted a lot longer and this one projects really well. So definitely enjoy Love and Crime. It's one of my favorite gourmands and I cannot wait. It's so cozy and sweet. And yeah, if you like gourmands, you definitely need to check this one out. Okay, up next we have a perfume I bought in the summertime and I couldn't wear it, but now it's time. This is a fall perfume, if there ever was a fall perfume. This is by Clinique. This is Cookies and Kisses. And this smells to me like a feminine, like a much more sweet and feminine version of By the Fireplace. The name is really misleading, Cookies and Kisses. It doesn't really smell like cookies at all. This just smells like something sweet sitting by the fireplace, but very, not quite as realistic as By the Fireplace. You know, By the Fireplace actually smells like you are legitimately sitting by a fireplace. This one has that vibe for sure, but it's not quite as... As realistic it's not as strong as far as like the chestnut the chestnut is in here but it's toned down and it's a lot more on the feminine sweet side and this is definitely the by the fireplace for me this one smells so good and it just it reminds me of a cold day sitting by the fire eating some like s'mores or something you know just eating something sweet and yummy and I cannot wait to wear this. Now, I will say the performance on this isn't amazing. It's not terrible, but I think I only get about four hours out of this if I remember right, but I'm not too mad about it because this is really just one of those perfumes I like to wear at home when I wanna be cozy. If I'm gonna curl up on the couch and read a book, or if I'm gonna snuggle with my husband and watch a movie, and it's cold outside or rainy and I just wanna wear a sweater or curl up in my blanket, this is the type of perfume that I definitely crave. I don't necessarily need the performance to be monster and all day. So definitely enjoy this one if you like a good curling up in the privacy of your own home kind of scent. If you like doing that, I highly recommend this one, but just know that the performance isn't like, like I said, I think I get about four hours out of this one with a moderate projection. Definitely, Enjoy this one for cuddling. Okay, I finally figured out the season for this perfume and it's fall. This is by Zerzhoff. This is Dolce Amalfi. I think this is going to be best for fall. I was kind of trying to figure it out. I tried to wear this one in the spring, which I did like because it has quince in it. It does smell juicy. It definitely has like a juicy fruit gum kind of vibe. So I thought, ooh, spring, it'll be nice. But there's also cloves in here, and this is also a very sweet, like spicy type of perfume as well. It's very gourmandish, and I think I'm actually going to like this in the fall, and that's the season that this really truly reminds me of. So I'm excited to pull this one out. I fell madly in love with this. This was another blind buy, and it was love at first sniff. I got interested in this perfume because people were saying it smelled like a spicy, juicy fruit gum. And I know for a lot of people that was a turnoff, and for a lot of people that wasn't what they wanted to smell like. But for me, I was like, oh yeah, that sounds right up my alley. <laughs> And I want that perfume, so I ordered it, and I have no regrets. It's definitely more elevated than gum. You know, it doesn't smell straight up like gum, but it does make me think of, like, juicy fruit gum with some heavy spices, and I think it's fantastic. This is a great performing perfume. So I know not all of Zerzhoff's perfumes, especially from the Cosmorati line, perform super great, but this one is really good. I have no issues at all. This one has a very beautiful scent bubble all day long, lasts me for most of the day, and I've really never had an issue with this one. So great performance. If you wanna smell like an upscale, spicy, juicy fruit gum, <laughs> then I highly recommend this one. I think it's just, it's so enjoyable, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to wear this one. Okay, last but not least, I love this perfume, you guys. This is by The Seven Virtues, and this is Vanilla Woods. This right now is my favorite vanilla, like straight up vanilla perfume. Not my favorite perfume that has vanilla in it, but like where the main star of the show is vanilla, I think this is my favorite one in my collection right now. 
I adore this fragrance, you guys, and I just think that this is so well done. The sillage is the beautiful part. When I first spray this on, I don't actually really like it for like the first minute because there's like a smokiness that's in this perfume at first, but for me, that quickly goes away, and the sillage that is around me all day long is intoxicatingly good. So there's pear in here, there's caramel, there's vanilla, obviously, and what I get the most out of this is caramel and vanilla. So as this starts to dry down, there's like this swirl of caramel and vanilla around me all day long, and it is so good. I love this perfume, and this performs really well on me. I have not had the best luck with the Seven Virtues. I've tried a couple other of their fragrances and they like disappear on me like really quickly and I have not been impressed with the performance but this one stays on me all day long and I can get wafts of it throughout the day. It's not super strong, like it doesn't project super far, it's not a beast of a perfume, but I definitely can smell this and I've gotten compliments on this so I know other people can smell it too. And it is one of the most enjoyable perfumes that I have. I love the sillage of this fragrance and I cannot recommend this enough. If you are a big, big vanilla fan and if you like caramel, I think you would really like this. Just my all-time favorite vanilla right now and this one screams fall to me. I cannot wait to wear it. That is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave me your comments in the comment section and let me know what perfumes you're super excited to wear. I love to get recommendations from you guys. You guys always have the best recommendations. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.